could feel this pain in my chest. And I knew instantly this isn't one muscular or anything like that. I just knew straight away that this was serious. You know, he was gone the next day. And I was fine the next day as well. But I just knew then that, you know, there was something wrong and I need to get it looked into. And I just sat down and I said, I'm really worried about this. Well, not really worried. Um, you know, this isn't muscular. I know what muscular strains feel like. I've had plenty of them, you know. I'm involved in sports, so I know what they feel like in the rest. This is something else um, I'm concerned about. And she was really good, actually. Um, because she, she literally wrote a letter there and then. Um, phoned through the reception and told the phone her mice to expect me. And she gave me a letter to take with me to give to them. But then they, they obviously said I was staying. So I was in this ward and it was like a guy that was over 100, one that was 80 something, one that was nearly 70. Like just a wee boy compared with them at 46. And I was really, really, really fit then. So I'm not showing any symptoms at all at this point. And I'm doing running four or five miles a week. You know, I'm working out two or three days a week. And I'm like really, really fit situation when you discuss with you. And he just sat me down and said, look, okay, I'll be back with she got cancer. So he said, I think it's 1A, which is the earliest form of cancer. We might be able to operate it, we might be able to remove it. Um, and you may not need any follow-up surgery and the rest. So that's quite, you know, obviously <laughs> makes you feel a bit better, you know. Um, but the, the, the thing is with it all, though, at the end of the day, you, lots of, you know, you go online and you start thinking and your mind's doing God knows what. I mean, by the time I got home, surely, I'd be in a box on the floor, you know. So for me, basically, it took, just took away just over half my left lung. But the only way you can do that is by, you actually go through your back, you've got it on, no chemo, no radio. The quicker you get it dealt with, the, the better you can recover. People go to the doctor and they say, uh, I'm not feeling so good, whatever. They don't elaborate, they're perhaps a bit scared to find out the worst, especially if they smoke or whatever, um, which I did. But the problem is with that, once it starts spreading, and it's in more than one part of your lung, once it's stage four or five or six, they can't cut it out anyway.